Right then, now we know what we're going to do, what are we going to do it with? An envelope. What have we got here? Catalogue. Cable. This is the high current cable. So it's rated at 16.5 amps. It's quite thin. I was expecting it to be a bit thicker, but that's okay. 16.5 amps should be plenty for what I'm doing. I have 12 volts, 110 watts, give or take. So that's plenty. Thin cable, that is for the switch to the relays. So that needs to be pretty thin. That's five amp, I think that'll be plenty. And the paper. Relays. Please note the polarity of terminals 85 and 86 are critical. 85 is negative, 86 is positive. A failure to connect the relay with this polarity will result in damage to the relay. Don't want to damage the relay, so I'm going to keep that. A couple of fuse holders, inline fuse holders. Um, only need one, bought two because I'm kind of good at breaking things. These are the relays themselves. Yeah, quite cute little things. Fa fairly standard bit of kit, nothing to about there and we have the sockets that the relays plug into and the connectors so there's spade connectors that you crimp onto the end of the cables to connect to the relays and oh, they're rather nice there I like those they are interlocking which means that they'll package together nicely like that and then the relays will sit in the top one and then that will be bolted to the bike, or more likely cable tied, um, until I can get around to bolting it. All of the cables go in the bottom. So that's it. That is all the bits and pieces that I had to buy. Looks like a lot. Actually cost about £20 online, so it's not a big outlay. Other things that we're going to need. Crypt tool. Fuses. Some heat shrink tubing. Soldering iron. Solder, multimeter, and a cup of tea.